morning guys happy Monday I don't feel so good let me just say that the whole house is sick my husband is proper sick he's feverish um, last night he literally came out of bed throwing up like all over and it was so bad he's literally he can't do anything he can't eat he can't do anything um, but he's taking medication I literally just fed him some rice and some soup um, I'm also coughing and I think there's just something in the air that's really bad because I barely get sick when I'm coughing up uh, but I barely get sick I barely contract stuff I'm not gonna lie I barely get cold or anything like that I've been coughing too since yesterday um, so that's definitely something in the air that's not so good. I have an appointment in New York tomorrow. We have a day trip tomorrow. So um, I am trying to like drink up some ginger tea to help me feel good because I have an appointment tomorrow in New York. I have to go and renew my passport. So I can't be sick. I'm hanging out with my best friend too. So I can't be sick. Okay. I want to have fun I want to like run around and have fun <laughs> but anyway today is Monday the household is like slow because everybody's just tired and sick not in like it, I feel like that but I'm like if I'm laying down and being a big baby like my husband <laughs> then we would all not be fine like who would help who so I gotta be strong my husband when he's sick he's a big 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 baby <laughs> okay i'm just gonna chop up some ginger and put it in my lemon tea This is my favorite tea. If you see it on the market, buy it. It's so good. Literally. You will feel your system doing something. If you have like bloating, um, indigestion, this tea, she's really good. Very, very good. And this is what the package looks like, in case you're wondering. It's so nice. I'm going to squeeze some lemon into that. Mm. This tea is definitely going to help my throat calm down. Currently, that's the most I feel. I don't really feel so much of like a headache situation. Um, and yesterday, I'm not even gonna lie. Yesterday, I was looking for something. I was looking for A4 sheets for my printer. And so, I don't even know how to say it. My husband has a Bluetooth speaker that he's been using. But it's not just a regular Dagoa Bluetooth speaker. It's from the company CAT. C-A-T. Do you guys know CAT? They do heavy duty equipment and devices only <laughs> so like i was saying i had to like move really quickly but the speaker literally it fell on my feet and it's so heavy literally so heavy like it's a good quality speaker and it's from that company so they put in all their best and now my feet is swollen <laughs> it's not even fun like my feet is legit swollen I don't know but so I'm gonna have my tea okay I'm gonna have my tea and just relax for a little it's a it's a, it's a sick Monday so we're not feeling fine type of Monday <laughs> yeah can we please have um, Gabe start
non-stick it has like granite type skin which is really beautiful and you can use it for baking cooking and everything that's why you can detach that so that's really really nice let me just put it all together and then I'll show you guys what the set looks like okay <coughs> I just want to say these pots and pans they're so pretty they are like really simple they have just two lids okay two interchangeable lids that you can use the big lid it covers both the big pots and then the small lid covers all three of the small pots which is crazy <laughs> really crazy to me but i just wanted to say that um i've been thinking of i'm not gonna lie i'm having a little headache i feel like the thing on my head is like my head is pounding just a little bit anyway i was gonna say i've been you know thinking of going on a minimalist journey just basically minimalizing my life and my home and I've been thinking about that really really much you know throwing stuff away I feel like I have a lot of things that I really really should not be having or should not be holding on to like 30 cups when we're just three people in the household why do I have 30 pieces of cups you know why is my entire cup cabinets like so full why so i'm thinking about that and then i'm like i have to minimalize my life clothes um you know just find a way to be a minimalist that's just basically what i'm arriving at so with that being said i think i'll start with my kitchen i think i'll start with my kitchen except that not today i don't feel so good but the pots the pots that have just come in they're such a good inspiration because they literally scream minimalist it's just five pots with two lids two handles that you can switch around 
what else is minimalist than that like literally having the smallest thing to do the biggest thing or literally having you know the smallest things to do um, the big things if it makes sense so let me show you this is what the pot looks like this is a small lid I like the whole black aesthetic that it has and I feel like this I don't know I have to use it. I've tried so many pots I'm not even going to lie at this point I've tried so many pots if you've been watching my vlogs you know I'm always ordering new pots because I like for them to you know stay longer um, but I think eventually in the future I might get some caraway pots hopefully those ones they don't get messy around the skin and everything but I think it's also something that you can't it's inevitable when it comes to pots and pans they would always have body that's not so good but um hopefully these ones will last a little longer for me because i like them okay so yeah but this is what it looks like pretty cute i like it and i have two small ones here i'm happy about these two small ones because i've been needing like small pots and i don't really have a lot of those i only have big big pots so i really like these so like cooking small rice from from a pest food and stuff like that i think this this is gonna be really nice um, but I ordered some pizza. <laughs> I ordered some pizza because I've been craving pizza since yesterday. Okay, since yesterday. So I figured I'll order some for myself. Um, so I'm waiting for them to um, for that to be delivered. But then also, um, I have to go out to go and grab a few things. I'm running out of. I don't have trash bags, and I have to print out my passport pictures for tomorrow's appointment, and you know, just do a few other stuff. So we'll quickly run to town to go and do that um, but I'm trying to relay my closure because it was lifting um, so just so that you know it stays in place um, but yeah I'm just gonna go chill for a little wait for that pizza to come go out to run my errands come back home come and edit and then just chill for the rest of the day relax um, just because again I feel fatigued I'm not gonna lie and my feet is also literally pulsating from um, the speaker that fell on my leg so i'm not gonna lie i'm just making myself strong because i could be in bed okay i'm not even gonna lie but again my husband has been throwing up all day literally has thrown up like five times and i don't want to be i don't want to be weak as well you know we have to balance each other out so i'm stronger definitely feel stronger it's just like a bad throat and a little bit of fatigue so I feel like and today's a holiday I did mention that it's a holiday so that's why we don't even have work so it's good I mean it's good and not so good because we didn't get to actually celebrate the holiday but everybody's sick um, but yeah I will check back in with you guys a little later because yes my love I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go chill for a little wait for the pizza to be delivered and then I will go out to run my errands come back and chill for the rest of the day but yeah let me go and take on this band i have to <clears throat> i have to tint the lace the closure just a little um but this is my hair you guys it's a closure sewing i keep forgetting that it's not an actual wig i keep wanting to pull it down i'm not even going to lie like i keep wanting to hold it and pull it down and then i realized that oh i actually have corals and it's a sewing <laughs> uh, but it's a closure sewing so my whole head i have tracks of hair of bundles that has been sewed into the hair um, but in the front i have a closure right here it's looking a little gunky right now because i just try to relay it and you know glue is always going to look a little messy in the beginning um, but i'll work on that but generally this is what the hair looks like i um, have these bundles i got from amazon really really nice bundles like i kind of been scream enough about how good these bundles are they're raw hair bundles so it's not brazilian it's i don't know if it's brazilian i mean i don't know if it's from the country brazil but it's just raw hair so it's naturally heavier than your regular silky brazilian or remy no it's just raw and it's so nice ah if you haven't tried raw hair before this is take it from me buy some raw hair bundles you would love it it feels just like your hair like it feels like your hair blown out 
like if you have really nice healthy hair and when you blow it out it literally feels like that it doesn't give kinky but it's so heavy it's almost like kinky hair it's almost like kinky hair it's so beautiful i can't even stop talking about the hair like the bundles are so nice the bundles are bundlesing it's so full it barely sheds like literally no shedding i'm not even gonna lie like literally nothing um, it's such nice hair and I'm very happy with this install I'm not gonna lie I am very very pleased you know I was telling you guys I'm still trying to get used to the fact that my edges you know the edges are always going to be there that's the problem they're always they're always going to play a, a role but I'm happy um, that you know it's a closure so I'm able to like you know finesse it to make it look good or whatever and my forehead is kind of big but it's fine because again we were trying to make it look like a natural hair type of situation so we didn't want to make it obvious and like bring it all the way to the front to make it look like closure closure so even though i told you guys you know um, but yeah it's a closure in the front and then i have bundles going across like that so yeah <laughs> i generally love this hair i have no complaints like it's so free it's like it's giving my hair okay you can't tell me nothing it's my hair stay away from me it's my hair okay i'm gonna go relax um again i'm happy that i feel this way because i don't want to be sick before my trip tomorrow no i'm going to new york <laughs> so i'm not gonna be sick <laughs> uh, but i'm gonna go just when the pizza gets here i will check in with you guys okay guys oh, i feel terrible now like for whatever reason now i feel really terrible like my throat feels so bad my forehead area is sort of like beginning to ache i don't know and i feel cold you know and all my windows are closed and i'm still cold i think i'm gonna sign out for today with you guys because I'm just gonna, it's currently 6.30 but I'm gonna sign out for today I'll see you guys tomorrow I'm hoping that tomorrow I don't feel worse than this because I feel terrible I think it's good that I took some Tylenol in the morning so my symptoms are like becoming rapid you know my husband started throwing up before he took the Tylenol I took the Tylenol immediately when I started feeling like you know what let me take the Tylenol to protect myself even though I still feel terrible, I think it was a good idea taking that Tylenol in the morning. Uh, you guys, I'm going to go to bed, do what I have to do, just relax. Oh, my stomach now feels bad. I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? <laughs>
I feel mad because I'm like, maybe I should have woken up a little early, you know. Or maybe I shouldn't have done my makeup or something. I, I don't know. Either way, I'm here. I'm waiting for the bus. My um, app- appointment in New York is at 12. It's at 12. Between 12 to 1. And my bus gets to New York at 2. 2.30. So, hopefully, my bus gets there on time. And then when I get to New York, I can just, you know, quickly rush and do stuff. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping that everything turns out well. Um, but I really want to get it over and done with today. I can, I can always reschedule, but I just want to get it over and done with today. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. And, um, yeah, that's the update. I'm not even going to lie. It's insane, but I'm, I'm mad. I'm not so mad. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I left my ring at home. Um, no, it should be fine. I would like um, a straw. Yeah, thank you. Hello, babe. My husband called to check on me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait, wait it out till, you know, till 10, it's 9.20, it's, the bus leaves at 10.50, so I have like a whole hour to waste, literally, <laughs> but this is breakfast, this is what breakfast looks like, that's so good, it looks really, really good, I can't wait to just like, ooh. Okay, so literally sitting on my orange juice and I need to drink that. the bus station I'm gonna go back to the bus station um, it's 10 right now so I'm just gonna hang out there for like the next 15 minutes and then we'll go I'm home okay you guys I am literally back home tell me why I'm so sick I'm not even gonna lie I feel terrible I feel terrible. My head is aching crazy. Um, <laughs> is this crazy how I don't look sick? Is it because I have makeup on? Anyway, so when I had checked in with you guys from the restaurant and then I was having breakfast, um, I had another bus, right? That was supposed to leave at 10.50. I told you guys all of that. Now I get to the station, you know, I'm waiting. 10.20, waiting, 10.30, waiting, 10.40, and initially I had spoken to one police officer that was walking around there, because there's literally nobody to talk to, I told you guys, when you get there, the customer service is not there, because apparently the customer service, in-person customer service, closed two years ago, so they only have online services, and I didn't know, this is my first time booking a bus in the state of Massachusetts, it's terrible, okay? Um, from like this side of town I was literally going through the Worcester station it's not nice and so I'm sitting there and 10 45 ish I go and ask the police officer again I'm like I know that the bus will be showing up at a different like location you know the station is big so sometimes the buses will be in the front sometimes they'll be in the back and then he's like, yeah, it will be in the back. I should go through the back stairs, go through the booth, and then just go. So I go outside. I still can't find the bus, obviously, because it's not right there. And then I speak to, mind you, the workers, the people who are cleaning the place and everything. Nobody speaks English. Everybody's like Spanish, which is fine. I don't have an issue, but I don't speak Spanish. So that was the issue. Um, so I'm going, and then one man tries to read my ticket. 
and then he's like Franklin station is in the back so I should walk through and go to the back right so I walk through go to the back and I am walking up right I'm walking up I see a bus packed with the name of the brand um, our bus the bus I'm supposed to be traveling with and so I look at the driver's face he's literally talking to one of the passengers in the seat one of the passengers had come up to him and there was one man also standing there so in my mind I'm thinking you know they're loading because it's literally 1051 literally I get there and then I'm waving the driver I'm showing him the ticket on my phone and I'm like I'm going to New York and the driver literally looks at me like hmm? it's like he's literally telling me he's not gonna pick me up and I'm like oh you know like I'm trying to make gestures that shows that like I'm here my ticket is on my phone and he's like no he's not doing it and he literally legit closed the door drove off right in front of me and turned and went away literally I was there I'm like so you're not gonna pick me up that was legit my reaction I'm like so you're not gonna pick me up and he drove off and left the tickets are not refundable you can't transfer them to another time I mean you could the next ticket they had was at 6 p.m. what do I need to go and do in New York at 6 p.m. nothing I needed to be there by midday today I had an appointment between 12 to 1 uh, I am so tired one I'm so stressed I was so angry when I was at the station and the bus left I literally almost cried like I put on my big girl pants and that's the only reason why I didn't cry because I literally almost cried because in my mind I'm telling myself I know very well that I'm sick I know very well that I don't feel good my husband was telling me to reschedule and when I feel good I could go he was even telling me when I feel good they could literally drive me to New York and then in my mind I'm like no I just want to have the day in the bus by myself and then go and do my thing and then go and meet my friend you know me my best friend we're going to hang out my best friend literally booked a place um like a theater place what was it called um a museum like uh, some nice art museum in new york we're gonna go do some museum walk go and have some cocktail take some pictures you know and then my evening bus was even at six so i'd have left there like by 5 30 go to the station and then i'm back no okay no so i am just so mad i didn't do it i'm like oh i'll go i went with myself i should have listened because when i was going in the morning when i was going there was traffic for like 23 minutes so my first bus originally that was supposed to leave at 8 it left me i got there at like 8 23 first issue i'm like okay let me calm down let me book another ticket i booked another ticket because the first bus they also didn't even have customer service so i used a whole different company to book another ticket i did that when i have my breakfast you guys know i did all of that just to calm me down while i wait time i could have been sleeping i come back home and my little girl she's also sick with the fever like she's literally caught the fever that's why you guys will hear her shouting she's literally laying down she's with temperature she's hot and everything and even my best friend was telling me I should take it as that God just is telling me to chill for today. I don't have any business in New York. And I'm saying that, you know what, that could be the only reason. Because if that's not, and it's a human being reason, I'm going to be angry. <laughs> like, I'm going to be so mad. When I called the customer service lady, I was telling her that, you know, it's not even her fault. But why don't they have customer service? How do they expect a first timer to figure all of this out? Do they consider things like that? Like, I'm so mad. I am so mad I'm not even gonna lie but I'm calm I came back home and my head like when I was walking in town I, I didn't feel sick you know in the morning when I left and I was doing the rounds and everything I was low-key feeling okay I think it's because I was busy and in the moment my mind wasn't on the fact that I'm actually sick I get back home and my head is bashing I literally take a nap in my chair in the office literally sitting by my husband I take a nap pass out I just woke up <laughs> I'm not even kidding um, but that's that's the story I'm back home I didn't go to New York can you imagine I didn't get to go and do my passport I've rescheduled for another day I'm so mad I don't even know if I want to go at this point because you know all this stress I think I might just go to Boston and go and pick a cab 
from there or I think I might just book a door-to-door -door cab service because I'm not dealing with this train service again me never never like I'm not even kidding but right now I have to go and buy medication I have to go and buy some medicine for all of us because um, the only thing that we've taken so far is Tylenol and you guys know that yesterday I made the local remedy I'm not gonna lie that local remedy it helped me throughout the night because yesterday last night I couldn't sleep I would just be coughing up I came to take a shower I went to sit in the office for a while and my husband was asleep and I just couldn't sleep so that thing when I drank it it would make me cough up you know some and then I'm able to sleep so I, I think I might remake it I have one more pineapple so I might remake another one today um, but today I have to take care of my child I think that's why the universe brought me back home I'm back home because I have to take care of my child she's she's not fine she's her temperature is like all the way and even I don't feel like that so I think she has my husband's situation because she's so hot and she's usually not calm like that you know so I can feel that she's sick. Um, so I'm gonna go to Walgreens and grab some kids um, cold and fever medication, something for cough, so that she can come back to that. And I think that she's gonna stay the week. She's just not gonna go for daycare this week, so that she can be fine. Um, but that's the situation. The whole household is sick. I didn't get to go to New York. My life is a bomb right now. I'm not even kidding. That's how I feel. Um, but I just thought I'd give you guys an update on the vast situation. And I'm gonna go grab some medication for my child. And then I'll come back and come and sleep. I'm tired. I'll take off this makeup and just go to bed because I can't, okay, I can't deal with, I can't deal with human beings. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I got some medication the house I got some medication for all of us my chest when I cough my chest it hurts so bad oh my god mm. these are some cough drops for my husband and me and then I got some infant Tylenol for my baby girl I got some baby tossing for my husband and myself as well and then I got some gripe water, the brand that does gripe water. This is their cough syrup and mucus syrup for kids. And then I also got this Be Cool Soft Gels for hair. Um, apparently this is supposed to help with fever discomfort. So, because she has a temperature so bad, I'm going to put some of this on her. But you guys, I'm just going to go to relax. Honestly, I'm going to go sit down and take some medication and sleep take care of yourself guys take care of yourself the weather is definitely bad there's definitely something in the air that's bad something in the air is bad take care of yourselves okay hey guys hey guys i know <laughs> i'm fine i am fine at least i'll say that i'm like 90 percent fine um, i'm still coughing up a little i'm um, pretty much all of us we're all still coughing up just a little bit but we're honestly fine it has been a hell of a week hasn't it like where is the sickness coming from i'm so mad um but honestly i feel like it gave me time to just chill i'm not gonna lie we all just slept for a good week like we we're just in bed watching movies and just um, replenishing ourselves i think that sometimes honestly personally <laughs> i think that the universe was just finding a way to like shut me down for a second because girl you guys know i have a crazy schedule for myself my workout routine my nine to five the things that i have to do as a mom cooking i cook literally every day apparently that's not a thing <laughs> i didn't know that um but i cook almost every day so i'm always tired almost always tired um so the universe was like you know what sleep for a second okay relax for a second <laughs> and i'll take that i'll take that any day coming from the universe i will take that coming from god i will take that i'm not even gonna lie um 
But just an update, we're fine. We're back, okay? The girl is fine. She's back to normal. Per. <laughs> I am so excited to be myself again. I hate being sick. I hate when anything in my system is like out of order. I just don't like it. Um, so, yeah. I know this week's vlog was a little sad and stuffy or whatever. But um, I hope you guys, it wasn't like so bad or so sad. I just want you to know to take care of yourself, okay? Um, there's definitely flu in the air and everybody is like getting sick. So you want to be careful, take care of yourself when you're outside. But, <coughs> yeah, it's still, it's still there. It's still lingering a little, but we're, we're fine. We're definitely fine. Um, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. I really do need to start a new vlog with, like, new energy, new vibes. I really do want that right now. So, um, I'm just going to say thank you for watching this week's. Um, thank you for always coming by to watch my vlogs. I love you guys. And I will see you. And thank you for being sick with me. Always spending a sick week with me. I appreciate that. Um, but I hope you guys like it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> when I say she did it from her mama, mama say you fuck her right. Your body will be slumped like a dummy in the home. But come tell me, is you found? Cause I'm trying to go good tonight. I only hope you slept right. I just want to live in a fantasy. I think we deserve.